What's up guys, it's me Jimmy here, and today I have a really, really awesome video for you guys. So a lot of people have been asking me if I know of any really cool hiding spots or secret locations in Grand Theft Auto. And yes, I have a few really cool secret locations in Grand Theft Auto that I know about, and I would love to do a video for you guys sharing those locations. These are probably locations you haven't noticed before, so today I'm going to be showing you some really cool hidden and secret locations in Grand Theft Auto. Now before we get started with this video, Let's go for this video, 79 likes. It's the highest like amount I've ever went. It's literally the highest, 79, let's go. And I wanna point out if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below. I upload daily news, information, and much, much more. And if you guys subscribe, you'll never miss another video from me. I would hate for you guys to miss out on any of my future content. So like I said in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some really cool secret and hidden locations you can use online with your friends, maybe even have some fun with your friends, who knows, but if you guys want more of these and you want another video of me showing you guys some really cool, awesome locations, make sure you guys hit that like button below and let me know. So the first location I'm going to be showing you guys you probably don't know about is on a building. I know, it's on a building and a lot of people are going to say, well, how do you get a bike on a building? Well, I use creator mode. You could easily use a cargo bike and get your bike up there and do it yourself but I used creator mode and it's the easiest way to do it and it's the easiest way to try it out now I have the location right now on the screen on how to get to this area it's on a building and you have to get in the exact position I am right next to this like electrical box and and just push your bike against the wall you're gonna see I'm gonna try to push it against the wall as hard as possible you'll fall through and just go ease with it and just keep going straight and you'll land in a room I don't want to show too much of this area because I want you guys to go do it for yourself and check it out for yourself it's a really 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 awesome location I mean there's a lot of other places in this area that you could check for yourself and look around and just explore it's it's just an awesome place to just roam around in in GT online if you're bored This would be something to do on your downtime have some fun and just have a blast So with the next location you're actually gonna need this mean yellow machine Okay, this guy is just huge, right? I mean, it's the it's like the biggest truck in Grand Theft Auto You're gonna want to come to this location here and again I'm in creator because I thought it was just the easiest way to try these really cool locations out and just test it out because I really didn't feel like going in online and getting a, a like a truck and setting this up. It would have been harder. It would have been difficult because you got to find the vehicle or you can buy it yourself. But you're going to want to back into this little corner right here and just make sure you're pushed up all the way against the back and just make sure you can't go any further. And then this is where the next step comes in. You're you're going to want to press square or whatever button it is on your controller and try and get up on this this truck i understand it's going to be a little difficult at first you probably won't do it the first time because at, honestly i had so many difficulties just trying to get up on the top of this mean machine but once you finally do it once you finally get to the top the righteousness you know you are there there is no stopping you and once it finally lets you just get on top okay once you're on top of this guy just walk all the way to the back press square or whatever button it is to climb and you will see that there is a mall under you now be careful where you walk because you got to follow kind of where I go just so you don't fall through the ground see as you guys can see you can kind of walk around and explore for yourself but you guys kind of got to get the feel of the place because there's few places that you can fall through there's few places that you can actually fall but not fall fully through but just I don't know like underground but you could still explore this place like this place is huge there is so much to explore at this mall type center mall shopping center you could say I don't know it's a really cool location to explore for yourself if you guys want to and that's another thing I like about GTA or just in general secret and hidden locations there's other places you can explore that you have never explored before and you could literally have a different adventure and it literally like bring back that love and, and feel when you first bought the game you literally can explore new things and in new detail and honestly just different places So this next location I'm going to be showing you guys is actually not too big. I mean, it's not a huge special location that you can explore, but it's pretty awesome. It's like a little hidden garage in a house that you guys can get into. And actually, this is something that's helpful for you if you're in online 
if you're maybe getting attacked by someone or you and your friends want to hide out somewhere, this is an awesome location to go to. It's literally inside this house. You're going to want to drive straight for the garage right there. And uh, as you guys can see, I feel completely. But what's going to happen is your guy or your person, if it's a girl or a guy, I don't care. But as soon as you hit that, your body will fly through the garage and inside the garage. It's not really like a wall breach. You kind of just went through the top of the garage and made your way inside. Now me failing right here, I just, I completely blow myself up, but you're actually able to shoot through this and you're actually able to kill people through this. The one thing is, is it's so easy to die. It's not something to be invincible or it's not something, you know, stay away from every single person, but it's something to maybe hide out for a bit and just chill out for a bit, but you're still eligible to get hit by explosives, um, anything, honestly. People can even shoot at you too. I just thought myself that this was a really cool location to show you guys. I think a lot of you guys would use this to your potential in online and maybe just explore for yourself. There's really nowhere else to go but this garage, yet it's still a really cool place to explore with you and your friends and maybe even troll some of your friends. So this next location I have here on the screen, if you guys go to this location, I'm going to be showing you this really, really, really awesome hidden and secret, like, I don't know what you want to call this, but like a store or stores, because you can actually explore a few stores here, and if you notice, most of these secret hidden locations I've been showing you so far this video have been mostly places that haven't been created, like by Rockstar, like a main place for something in use, maybe of story mode. These are actual places, like exploring buildings and stuff that haven't really been interior made but kind of look okay so if you go up right there which you just saw me do basically just climb right on the wall you will get inside this barrier type of wall now just drop down and literally make your way and just walk down and you could literally explore all the stores around this area I don't want to show you too much because I want you guys to explore yourself there is literally so much that you can explore here it's ridiculous I mean it's just awesome and maybe you guys can find some easter eggs within these stores it's just really cool to explore stuff that haven't really been made for storyline you know purposes like some of these places that you've seen before of secret and hidden places are mostly places that aren't eligible to go in in online but you could go in in story mode but these are places you're not allowed to go in in our online or story mode and that's why I think these are really cool places to check out and just look around because these are really awesome just dope areas to just look around in online but I definitely recommend you guys check this out for yourself explore for yourself and tell me what you find because there's a lot to look at So the next location I'm going to be showing you guys is actually the police station. This is a really fun location to check out. It's very, very hidden. Like, it's not something you can get into. I think the only way you can get into this police station is through, like, playing heist and stuff like that. I've made a video talking about this location before, but I just wanted to point out Rockstar have patched a few locations in the past. And this is one of the only ones with another select few that are working. But all you're going to want to do, basically, is kind of set up your car right here in this exact location you're going to want to jump into the corner you're going to want a big car though i'm just going to point that out right now you want a big type of kind of like suv and jump right in the corner just like that you should freeze pause out and then just slide right into the police station this location is honestly just dope and there's so much that you can explore at this police station if you guys would like to definitely go ahead and try this it's always fun exploring new places in grand theft auto and i think this place by far is one of the best places to explore if you guys want to explore some hidden and secret locations this would be a great place and the last secret hidden location I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a location that's still working after Rockstar patched a few. This is one of the few that are still working. Now, first off, you're going to want to start off the adversary mode, Every Bullet Counts. It will start off in Michael's house. Just play one game of that, and once you're done, go into the online session that sets you in and literally drive a kind of SUV right under where I go and basically get on top of Michael's house, and you will notice that the window is open. So this is a really cool way to get in Michael's house while being in online it's really cool you guys can explore it for yourself check it out for yourself it's honestly a really really dope place to explore enjoy and just check it out for yourself
And what I also love about this is it's not too hard to do. It's pretty simple, easy, and you can have fun with your friends, explore this with your friends. If you and your friends do the adversary mode together, you and your friends can explore this together. But anyways, those are all the secret and hidden locations I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video. But if you guys want another video of me showing some really cool locations that I guarantee you don't know about, leave a like on this video. And if we get enough support, I will do another video just like this. Just make sure you guys are subscribed so you never miss another upload from me and you always get notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyways, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video and I really hope you guys are having a great day, man. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on this channel you've been showing it's amazing how far we're getting and it's honestly just i'm so thankful guys thank you anyways i love you love you love you you awesome mother lovers take care and i'll see you in the next one